Okay. When you talk about the prayer, prayer is that uh, we, we say that it is communication mm. between you and the God. Mm. And the prayer actually is communion. For me, it's fellowship. Mm. Because many times we have taken prayer to be one-sided, whereby we are presenting our request to God. Hello guys, thank you again for tuning into Live Nation Media today. It's a wonderful day the Lord has given us. So we are going to share one topic that is controversial and big with my brothers right here. Today we are not going to give it as an option. We are going to discuss it live and direct so we can get to learn from each other. And for you who have tuned in today, thank you. If you're a returning viewer, thank you. And if you're new to this channel, kindly don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this content to reach one brother or sister outside there and be a blessing to the community of Christian, God's family. So today's topic basically is all about prayer. You know, from the time you're born again to the time that you die, your life all through is will be dependent of prayer all through because prayer is the will that moves a Christian. Prayer is what Jesus taught his disciples as the only lesson that he put emphasis on and said, pray without ceasing and offer your prayers in faith, believing that whatever you ask shall be given to you. So today we are jumping in deeper to understand what is it that we really can receive from God and how does he require us to ask? Does he just want us to ask by just saying or does he need more from that? So my brother right here, we are going to jump deep into that and stay tuned until the end of this video to be blessed and be a blessing to us also. So right away, I know somebody also there is wondering who these people are and they want to get to know you. And so I'm giving you time to introduce yourself and I'll start with my brother on the left side of mine. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm glad to be here. Mm. And uh, uh, it's, it's always a, a, a great session, especially when discussing about the, the deeper things of God. So mm. I'm, I'm just happy and just uh, looking forward also to not only discuss, but also be impacted also mm. even as we impact uh, the viewers uh, outside there. So my name is Joseph and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. On my right, my name is Manuel, mm -hmm. aka God with us. Born again, I love God as my personal savior. Mm -hmm. And today, we are pleased to be here mm -hmm. to share and to discuss more mm -hmm. about the word of God. Mm -hmm. And today, mostly, is about prayer. Prayer. And that prayer, mm -hmm. do we believe when we pray? Wow. Welcome, our viewers, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Right, so uh, I will jump first to the first question, which I know I'm going to put across so that we can attack it from all sides. Mm -hmm. First of all, what really is prayer? Because somebody will be asking, well, what really is prayer? Because the scare of prayer is just a way of communicating to God. But what's the real deep meaning of prayers you understand from your point of views? Mm -hmm. And uh, let me begin with you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay when you talk about prayer prayer is that uh, we, we say that it's communication mm. between you and the god mm. and the prayer actually is communion communion whereby you have one on one with your heavenly father mm. actually it's like the way you sit down with your kid and they start discussing their issues mm. so now you are with your father to discuss your issues mm -hmm. now you might not be there You're, maybe you are there to appreciate him maybe you are there to make your request mm. and all there are things that um maybe they are you are going through and you need god to help you mm. so you go to god or you go to your father in that prayer yeah. so, and that is the only way whereby you can make communication with your heavenly father mm. in addition I may, let me call my brother to add something. I think for me, uh, uh, my, my definition is not so different from mm -hmm. maybe what you've explained. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, the, the main word that I can use when uh, uh, somebody mentions about prayer is fellowship. For okay. me, it's fellowship. Mm -hmm. because many times we have taken prayer to be one-sided, whereby we are presenting our request to God only. So, mm -hmm. uh, but this time, uh, 
from a deeper understanding. It's not all about us uh, uh, telling God what we want, us just asking God we need this and this and this. Mm. This should be a two-way. It's kind of a fellowship. It's between you and God. So mm. uh, for me, that's uh, the easiest definition of prayer. The easiest definition because you understand that prayer is like just a communication, which is uh, we must have elements. Elements are what make it possible. So we have uh, the recipient, the communicator, and the message. Yeah. So it's not just about the message, the message, but also there's a reply. Mm. But in this element, where do you think we we, we let go on? Because uh, majority of us, what we do is always uh, sending, 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 but we don't wait for the reply and we just disappear from the process. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I, I know this is not just my problem. Yeah. What has been your encounter in that line? You have a, you just presenting a case and presenting and presenting and presenting, but you find that most of the time you don't give God the chance to speak to us. Actually, you are the one speaking, mm. but you don't give God the chance to hear from Him. Mm. You know, when you are, when you say that it's a communication, it means that you have to talk and give Him the chance to speak. Mm. Therefore, many people in uh, when we go to prayer, we just take time to make our information to, known to God, but we don't give God time. Mm in that prayer in that mood mm-hmm. for god to speak to you yeah. remember when you pray when you are speaking mm-hmm. god is listening mm-hmm. therefore when you stop speaking and you start listening now god will speak to you back mm-hmm. therefore as christian or as anyone who, who goes to have this fellowship or this communion with god mm-hmm. and his father you need to be very attentive when you are praying so that you can receive from god mm. and as you make also your request yeah yeah but do you find it so hard that people don't is it because of impatient or uh, why because people don't listen actually don't for me i think uh uh number one uh, there is uh a, a limited definition of prayer mm-hmm. of, of what prayer really is because uh a prayer has components and uh all subsidiaries and that includes uh, uh, the adoration, maybe uh, adoring God. Mm. There is also, uh, you can just go to God, uh, just thanking Him. Mm. So many times you you not uh, go and, uh, and tell God your request and that prayer of thanksgiving. So I think uh, people have uh, a misunderstood prayer mm. to be just uh, only the, the act of supplication, or uh, the act of yeah requesting mm. God. So uh, when we, we take prayer in that uh, in that uh, meaning then i think we miss we really miss a point because even as my brother is saying here that act now of receiving from god uh that part will now be omitted on our side Mm. so i think uh we really need to redefine uh uh what prayer is really means or its component or its subsidiary so Mm. that uh, each and every time uh we don't just go and bring our supplication and just present our uh, the request mm. to God without really minding whether mm. number one uh, we are taking time to listen from Him and, and also maybe time taking time to thank Him uh, mm. for what He has done in our lives. Mm. Mm. And and in your own moments, have you ever prayed and God answered you when you are still praying? Mm-hmm. How was the experience? Well, uh, I think for for me, uh, I remember one scenario, and for this, actually, it happened. Mm. Uh, it did happen before I, I started praying. Mm-hmm. And that was so fast. So how did you go? Actually, I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked uh, because uh, because I, I actually didn't uh, uh, I didn't imagine uh, it could have come so fast. Mm-hmm. Because uh, what was, was there was just uh, the mind, the idea that I'll, I'll present to God, maybe this and this and this. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was, as I was coming uh, out from the place I was, and then I meet the answer, which I'm about to start praying for. And then I'm like, oh, so God maybe doesn't only listen to the prayer. He checks our hearts, mm-hmm. he checks our minds. Mm-hmm. So that really changed everything for me. It's, mm-hmm. It's not uh, necessarily just uh, maybe uh, taking yourself to maybe that place uh, you have uh, secured uh, mm. as, as a secret place for prayer. It starts from uh, what is it that you, you desire 
the desire imagine god sees beyond the desire beside uh you now going to uh to the prayer room mm-hmm. he has also, he has already seen the desire, the desire. and then uh, uh by, by my example he answered uh the desire before even i, I started to pray and that shocked me and it really helped me now see or know who the who is this god that i was dealing with wow mm-hmm. and this is an uh this is an, an example of uh of the word which the bible says in the book of isaiah 65 mm-hmm. even before you start praying i love answered mm-hmm. so sometimes the, the more the moment you have this heart of praying mm-hmm. you find that there are things that even before you start praying god will have already answered even before and even before you start speaking them mm-hmm. you have already have the answer so now this one gives you that uh, that assurance that 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 makes you to be more closer to god mm-hmm. that makes you to be more confident on whatever you are believing god for mm-hmm. and this takes us more deeper that we need to also to know when we are praying mm-hmm. because when we are praying we need to believe in the in the in the, in, in that prayer mm-hmm. so it means that there, there 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 is this person that is a very good example that before i go to pray he believed in his heart mm-hmm. that i'm very sure that this prayer will be answered and before he started to pray actually god answered god answered yes before you even make mention no it's mentioned also in psalms 91 yeah i will answer you i will i will i will answer you before you you call unto me and i will answer you yes so it's 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 all over because god knows even the deeper secret of our heart the holy spirit reveals them to them yeah. to him and uh apart from what you have mentioned which is right and true uh, we understand that prayer comes from a point of relationship mm-hmm. because it's it's all about a communion if if we don't have a strong communion that mm-hmm. brings us together me and god in one communion mm-hmm. then i will be praying amiss because uh, two cannot work together unless they agree very yeah. true and where where does that agreement come from the agreement of a believer starts when the day he accepts jesus christ mm-hmm. and now that's you having the full access to these mysteries and these treasures that god has kept in the secret place yeah so I, i believe that the only problem that has been killing prayer of many people is we do not know how to pray we can, we, can, we have formulas of how to pray mm-hmm. but we don't know how to pray and i've seen the humility when the disciple came to jesus they have been praying with him mm. but when they saw that jesus is praying differently they came and said what mm. master teach us how to pray wow the pride of not asking we taught how to pray yeah one thing the holy spirit is our teacher he will mm. teach us in all things right yeah. that was one of the job he was given and uh, the pride that believer have we believe that we know how to pray but reality is we do not know how to pray and the humility of going back and asking the holy spirit teach me how to pray teach me the language of father we don't have mm-hmm. and uh, we have been taught about the formula adoration the act mm-hmm. the act there another one there's another one yeah but we can be so accustomed to the formulas until we miss the encounter yeah. mm-hmm. so i think more of the encounter more of understanding is key than the formulas yeah mm-hmm. or, or what have you been an encounter of you like I think uh there are times uh for you you just go in maybe into prayer or maybe you, you've not intended even to pray mm. uh actually let me go back a little and say that for me I, I think nowadays I'm viewing prayer as uh a not uh uh maybe uh not a like a one hour thing or mm. like a one second uh, thing mm. it's kind of maybe you can for me i think i can say now that prayer happens like in 24 hours because a uh, holy thing uh, god is seeing in in heaven where whether you 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 are working maybe your thoughts maybe you were sleeping mm. uh, uh those desire maybe before you sleep so he just just looking at them maybe yeah, in between you uh, uh your day to day endeavors uh there are those things that maybe you desiring and uh and this has uh, uh or this makes us understand that even at those times he is also listening for his above mm-hmm. so maybe uh we may not follow the actual formula because there are times when you just in in the middle of your day to day activities and mm-hmm. then just decide to just turn god maybe through a worship song or through a song mm-hmm. through a praise song mm-hmm. and imagine in that that is prayer in itself 
that it, it's not uh that uh it's not limited to uh, uh when you go maybe to that secret place so imagine now you praising mm. and just god meets you in that in that Amen. moment yes so mm. uh it's not about following the formulas it's just about how the holy spirit will lead you is it in praise is it in just maybe that one song that you are singing mm. is it uh maybe in just adoration mm. whatever uh how the spirits when the spirit of god guides you in in, in this just go by the flow don't just rescue yourself by maybe to go and follow mm. the formula that maybe you are taught, uh, taught. Yeah, 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 yeah. so I, i believe that's where the teaching of the holy spirit comes in exactly he will teach you on what to say mm. when to say and how to say it wow so now we have got back to the holy spirit mm. wow that is the the relationship that one has with the holy spirit mm. now this one gives you the advantage of being in the presence of god mostly okay on my side and the experience that i have in prayer mm. is uh, nowadays prayer is not about i have this time to pray i have this time to pray mm. it becomes a, a, a full-time something to do mm. when you are walking on the road your minds your mouth you're just praying you know this it is like the way you are my friend mm-hmm. when i start when i start going away i see something good i will to reflect in my mind ah my friend needs this my friend needs this mm. my brother needs this because we are we are related we have that good relationship mm. now the same applies to prayer the more you desire of the holy spirit the more you you stay closer to god the more you desire more to pray mm-hmm. the more you stay away from the presence of god the more it becomes very difficult for you to pray mm. therefore that's why you see nowadays you find that there are so many people so called christians in the house of god mm. but prayerless mm. and do you know that a prayerless christian is a powerless christian you can never win any battle yeah. when you are, you are when you are when you are not prayerful yeah. but the moment you become hot and the the hot we are talking about is through the power of the holy spirit mm. you, you you charge the more you pray you are charging your inner man the more you are charging your inner man the more now uh, even the demons that are around will start running away from you mm-hmm. remember you can never you can never, you cannot put your your finger in into fire and you fail to be burned the same applies mm. so there are people outside there maybe you have been praying and your prayer has been has not been hot maybe it is warm mm. yes so it is still accommodating some demons some situations mm. you are just they are just uh, you have been praying about something you have been praying about this and this and this but you're still accommodating it mm. why because maybe your prayer life is not has not become hot mm. you need to refuel back you need to put more firewood you need to create that more time to pray mm-hmm. the more you do that the more the desire of prayer increases in you the more you become hot mm-hmm. the more you start receiving from the spirit of god remember the more you you draw near to god the more it draws near to you mm-hmm. so that is the time when you when you present your case before god even when you are there the answer comes very well when you are there remember you can pray from january to december and your prayer can never be answered mm-hmm. Not because that you are not praying, but you are praying a miss. Yes. And you have never gone to God and asked God, where am I missing it? Because you have never gone to God to ask and you have never heard from Him. You find that whatsoever you are praying, you are praying a miss. Mm-hmm. And these are the people that you will, you will hear them say that I have prayed and prayed, but God has not heard. I have not seen the answers. You see? Yeah. So now we need to re-strategize the way we pray, mm-hmm. the way we present, the way we go before God. And they make this as a, we call it what? Lifestyle. A, a lifestyle exactly mm. don't pray because you are in good, good you are in good season pray always that's why the bible encourages us it's first the thessalonians mm. you pray always okay. prayer without ceasing all right so in, in in line to that because prayer prayer is it's not about the words we say it's yeah. not about the word we give out to god like a petition you are settling mm. yes praise a petition is a supplication is a thanksgiving but Prayer is a state of heart, first of all, because there are people who will go before the Lord, not with many words, but God will answer them. A good example, like Elijah in the Mount Carmel. Mm-hmm. What did he pray? He just said words, like short words in prayer form with the right heart, and God was touched. 
and the answer came instantly mm. same with jesus when he was talking to the father god sometimes the prayer we offer is not about us receiving the answer but for the glory of, of, the, of god mm. so is your heart really given to give god glory or is for you to receive the glory now mm. that's the point so we are going to the next point which is the main agenda of the day mm. we have dissected about prayer and uh, now there's a point where somebody will say i've been praying for this and that for several years or months <laughs> but i feel like the answer is not coming through now we're going to understand why does the answer doesn't come through? yeah what, what do you think is the problem with many of us because i know the point you prayed and the answer did not come the point you prayed there's no answer and you felt like is is god really still with me or oh, am i end a meeting <laughs> so how was the experience and what did you learn from that moment uh i think uh for me uh, i've come to, uh, to understand one thing mm. that mainly uh it's a, a result or maybe uh, uh make uh, maybe a, a prayer not to be answered number one mm. is doubt doubt uh many of us may uh usually have doubts when we pray and and i'm reminded of the uh some words in the book of James mm. 1 6 it talks about uh, uh, for, uh in the previous verse it was of uh asking or people being asked uh, to ask for wisdom mm. then in this verse it talks about you uh believing when you pray mm. <laughs> and it says it continues to say that uh whoever have doubts uh it's like a wave uh tossed by this exactly not receive anything from the lord uh, mm. absolutely so uh, I think number one, uh, doubts uh, is one of the reasons uh, why we usually uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe limit God even to answer our prayer. So if at all we're gonna maybe uh, uh, break through or have a breakthrough in this, then we must be uh, ready to remove the doubts when we are praying. Like we pray, uh, believing it uh, or believing that. God is here to answer, to answer our, prayer. our prayer. Mm-hmm. Do you do you think that most of Christians believe that God is, but they don't trust Him? Uh-huh. Uh Sometimes, uh, uh, maybe because we are fifty-fifty on the maybe the ways of the world and the ways of God. Mm-hmm. Uh, so some things you just tell God, and then maybe you have a second third thought, exactly, or second look, or second plan, or plan B. So that uh, when God doesn't do this, I'll, I'll, help, I'll help you. I'll help myself. I'll help myself. <laughs> exactly. I'll help myself. But it was. Yeah. Now that's the point of, mm-hmm. I believe God is there. Mm-hmm. He is able to do it. <laughs> but I don't trust he will do it today. Mm-hmm. So I believe in him, but I don't trust him fully. But that's why we lose it. And maybe an addition to that point, you are limiting him to a certain time. So that uh, you have told God that, by the end of this week if you don't do this and this and then i'll now think of the other uh, uh plan that i had so mm-hmm. i'll apply now plan uh the other plan so it means you are trusting him and but not really fully trust him. now on the same this is a weapon which is used by the devil to ensure that prayers of many people will never be answered mm. because if the word if god says that if you pray with doubt you can never receive anything. Therefore, the moment you start having the second option, obvious, that prayer can never be answered. So you give the devil the chance to strike mm-hmm. to ensure that it can never come. And remember the devil uses the word if. Mm-hmm. If you're really a true child of God, mm-hmm. you'll have these answers. And if is a doubt word. Exactly. Remember even him asking Jesus, if you're a son of God, throw yourself. Mm-hmm. If Jesus already know I'm a yes. child of God, and the devil knows Jesus is a son of God, but he's <laughs> using the word word. If, if, if you are. And he, he, he puts this kind of, uh, that, that mind in man, now to start questioning yourself. You start questioning yourself, by the way, mm. I have prayed. How will it happen? Now you will start, start, start thinking. Which way God will you use? Mm. How will it happen? Hey, it is true I have prayed for, for, for this certain issue. I have prayed for Raka. Mm. Yeah, I'm trusting God for Raka. But now the devil will start asking you, with your salary? Or do you think uh, you can never get it with your salary? Do you think salary? even God will help you with your salary? And uh, if, <laughs> do you think, if if you are getting this one, how do you expect this one to fall? that car. Now, the moment you start having that that mind, mm-hmm. now, by the way, and it, it, it looks like it is true, it looks like, it looks like, now you have put doubt in you. Mm-hmm. But there is one thing that God expects you to have. 
Mm. Full faith in him, trust in him, and believe. Because, you know, belief, believing comes in when you are in that prayer. Mm. You don't believe after. You believe in that prayer. Mm. I know God, as even I am praying this, I believe that you have already answered. Because you believe going yeah. and believe when you are there and when you are coming out also. Yeah. So, a good example what I was giving is, uh, I'm trusting you to give me something like 500 shillings or a thousand and i'm coming at your place because from where i'm sitting i only know that i will get it at your place mm. and uh, as i'm coming i believe you're going to find it yeah and as i'm in your place before you even mention it i believe that you have it mm -hmm. and when i go even though i know you don't have it i believe you're working something at the background to do what to meet what i ask you yeah but you find it that it's so easy for man to trust another man and to trust God. God. And that's why you also mentioned it about it's because it's a man who trusts another man. Yeah. And uh, I, I believe if we can transfer that trust we have on men to God, we can be getting so much result. Because the big question of the day was do you believe what you pray for? Yeah. Do you believe what you pray for? So, how has been your journey of believing God for what you pray for? Actually, for me, let me say that uh, nowadays I use the word uh, dear baby. Mm -hmm. I look at the story of, uh, uh, and this is the, for me, it's, it's a perfect example uh, the story of uh, Gideon in mm -hmm. Judges. Mm -hmm. uh, Gideon uh, is being told by God to reduce the number of mm -hmm. soldiers mm -hmm. from 32,000 to 300. Yeah. 300. Um, and the soldiers that he was fighting, uh, uh, the Midianites were around one that is something thousand. Mm. And so uh for him to do that and, and go even to the to the war, three hundred people, let's just take this practically, let's not uh take it as a theory. Mm. Three hundred soldiers fighting against thousands of soldiers, it's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. But then uh, uh uh Gideon uh knew that this was from the Lord. This was God who had told him. So he just believed that he is going to win the war and deliver the people uh, uh, from uh, be, uh, from the Midianites. Mm. And so this is what um, I've been telling myself. Maybe sometimes the situations look uh, so tough. Sometimes the situations look undoable. Mm. But then I have to like uh, have that dear thing in me. Like I have to believe it, even if it seems like impossible. Mm. I have to know who is saying. This is God saying, this is God who has promised. So mm. if he is the one who has promised, it means then he can't fail. Yeah. So uh, for me, it's it's not, uh, it's easier said than done, but then uh, we have to like uh, uh, try our mm. best. You have to dare, daring repeat uh, yeah. that he's going to do it for and us. I, and I think, uh, on the same mm -hmm. when it comes to believing there must be something that is carrying you and what carries us to continue believing in god is his commandments Manus. and his promises his testimonies you know when god tells you i will do he has not done but you have to believe he will do and have no doubt mm -hmm. remember when the peter when peter was told by jesus come if you if it, if it is you jesus call me and Jesus told him, come, Peter, come. And he started to walk. He started walking in the water. And he walked, and he walked. But there is somewhere Peter had doubt. So I think Peter now thought, I, how am I walking on the water? How, 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 mm. I, how? So now his focus was no longer in Jesus. He started thinking on how am I walking on water? Now the, the same things happen to people mm. when they are praying. You pray. But because of the challenges of life, because of some things which are not, which are not happening the way you expected to do, they start weighing you down, your faith down. Mm -hmm. Now you are like, hey, I've prayed this, now this is the third month. Will it ever come to happen? Which is a weapon, which is a way that the devil is using to ensure that your belief comes out from God. Your trust is no longer in God. But the moment you go back to that world, that's where you see that any Christian who is prayerful, you find that at the same time, that Christian should be able to read the word of God. Because for your prayer to be effective, it has to be equipped 
power. with the word of God. Power. Word power. Yes, mm. it has to be powered. Because that word is what gives you the stamina to stand. The word that you are speaking might be, my, it, it, it has power itself, yes. But now you are hard to continue to be strong, believing in God that whatever God has said, mm. will do. Now you have to have that promise. Mm. Lord, you, you told me, you spoke to me and you told me that ah, you will do it mm. to me. Now you are standing on that firmly. Despite what comes across, you are still standing on that. So this tells us that even when we are praying, when we are in this work of faith, mm. for us to please God, that your faith must be strong. Mm. And the, you, the strongness of your faith is what will make God move mm. in your life. Mm. And that is the only weapon that you can defeat the devil. Because the, when the devil says that he brings this challenge and he says that ah, this one is not weighing you down, he brings another, you are still trusting God. You bring another, you are still trusting God. He will leave you. Remember, the devil tested Jesus thrice. If you are son of God, we God, do this, do this, do this. The last moment, he walked away. Mm. Now, that is the same, same scenario. You might be going under somebody outside there. You might be going through challenges and you are asking yourself, when will God come? When will God answer my prayer? Mm. My brother, my sister, wherever you are watching this, I would like to encourage you that don't give up. Just hold on the promises of God. Mm. Just even if it is the old Bible, look where there are promises. Stand, stand with that promises because God is not a man mm. that he should lie. Ah, mm. God himself can never lie. Mm. He respects the, his word more than his name. So when we are talking about believing in a prayer, you have to have this total trust in him. Mm. Not only when you are praying, but even when you are walking, even in, 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 in the midst of temptations and challenges, still have that strong faith. Lord, I know, even if I am in this one, I know you will glorify yourself in this. Mm. And at the end of the day, you will see the greatness of God. And display in your life. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I think uh, an addition to that, uh, one great enemy of uh, maybe our faith or our belief in God, is uh our emotions mm -hmm. uh because mostly you find that uh if we anchor uh, our faith mm -hmm. on our emotions then it means uh at those times where there are turbulences or uh maybe we are in times of varies uh, or we are experiencing tough season mm -hmm. then uh we will tend not to have faith in our god mm -hmm. and that means even the prayer that we make or that we maybe present to our god it means somehow uh the they, they just uh, maybe uh, they are just faithless or they, they don't have that belief in, in, in them. So uh, I believe uh, how uh, we are made is that uh, we have emotions and uh, emotions usually come and go. It's because of diff the different seasons. Like uh, they, come, they keep coming and going. So I think for me, it's, it's like not anchoring our faith on emotion or our, our belief in emotion because you, you can't say that uh, uh you will pray uh when you are happy mm -hmm. there are times that you you'll be just uh you just maybe ex be experiencing a laugh uh, time and not be happy so if at that time uh if you anchor your faith on emotion then it means that somehow there will be some troubles ahead to me so if we can overcome that then we'd be good to go wow mm. oh, that's that's powerful uh, I think as we are wrapping up on the same, mm -hmm. uh, what what have been your take as in the journey of faith you walked uh, no some fear years yes, and what has been your biggest take home in terms of prayer? And it came with the... Okay, the biggest take home in in uh, as it was to prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that uh, I've come to learn about God. Mm -hmm is that even at the, at the lowest moment God expects you to believe in him mm. even at the happiest moment still God expects you to believe in him so it is not a, what God gives you is he has given you the choice to make but now when you are rooted in the word of God walking with God you will become simple because when you are rooted in the word of God, your prayer will become powerful. Uh, your work with God will be strong. Then defeating your enemies will be easy mm. because you will not be struggling. Now, as we have had emotion, 
can make uh, can make you not to go far the people that surround you because of the things that you hear daily can also hinder you mm. from going far therefore now you need to i have learned to keep away those people who are not adding value in in in, in line with faith mm. and in line with god because look the, the moment you you keep on sharing what you go through with people who are not helping you in the same issue now they start pulling you down and they start questioning your god but the moment you surround yourself with good and godly people mm. who are inspiring you who are encouraging you mm. they give you the courage to continue working with god which has been one of the best help when I'm down, I have somebody who can encourage me and tells me, ah, this is very small and God is coming to do it very soon. Mm. So this one keeps me on moving on and believing God. Mm. The more I read the word of God, it gives me his promises. Therefore, I'm able to hold and to stand firm in the promises Follow of the God. Promises of God. Yes. Mm. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Mr. Joseph, so your for, journey. So for me, uh, yeah. I think... Uh, and this has been me and this has really been encouraging me mm. many of the time mm. knowing that god has uh, the road map of my life just that that has been enough for me because uh, even at those maybe toughest seasons uh, i just know that uh, i need just to go before the lord and and, and just through uh, the fellowship now you know comes the fellowship through the fellowship mm. he just uh, help me understand that this may be uh, I'm making uh, you go through this because I need to teach you this and this and this and this. So just knowing that he has it all for me, he has uh, it all for me, that has been really encouraged, uh, been an encouragement to me. Mm. It has really helped me to push on because after all, I'm like, okay, this is what is happening, being good or being bad. But then uh, I need just need to inquire from God mm. through prayer. Need just to inquire from God, and then from then I'll be able to understand maybe later. And there is something good that shall come out from this. Mm. Yeah. So the Lord map, Him having the Lord map of my life mm. has been uh, God has been encouraging. Yeah. Wow. So the journey you've been through has taught you a lot about God's mm. nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe also prayer also exposes you to the nature of God, who He is, and what He says mm. He is. Only if you believe in him. Mm. I believe on my on my take as I wrap this thing up is uh, my journey with God has always exposed me to knowing and 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 really being in that position of understanding him as a father because uh, I've always known him as a father and he has always led me to understand. So the more I want to speak with my father with that confidence is the way I'll go speak with him with that same confidence. Mm knowing that whatever i'll ask in him as he said whatever i'll ask in my name believe and it shall be given unto you so i believe to somebody outside there you have stayed to this far because the lord has assigned for you for this time to hear this rhema so may you continue to dwell in that secret place never get tired because you know the lord comes in his own time and you cannot time him so keep dwelling in that secret place and the lord will meet you at the point of need only if you believe jesus said only believe in all things be possible you don't need to doubt anything because he who gave you a commandment and a promise is able to keep it until the end so be blessed with the blessed and thank you for staying to right here live nation to this far and i know the lord will bless you whatever you are praying to god believe that he's going to give it to you and stay there don't leave stay there like the wise virgin carry the oil of prayer that when he comes he finds you still active and seeking after him so may the lord bless you the lord rich richly increase you and also as this content has blessed you don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and don't also forget to comment because your comment is an encouragement to someone else who is waiting to hear from the lord so may the lord really bless you because there's somebody who might not watch this video but your comment is enough to bless them enough for the day so share with your friends widely and also stay tuned for the more episodes that are coming right here at live nation as we continue to spread the word of god remember christ nation is a live nation god bless you